Halo Infinite made some hires, and this was weird because Halo Infinite, I thought, was going to be coming out this holiday. Yep. And now they're hiring people to work on the campaign. They're working on Craig. <laughs> and, and to work on the multiplayer. Well, Phil Spencer said that it was coming out on right alongside of the Xbox Series X. And Phil Spencer, that's a very trustworthy individual. You know, he's not he's not a shyster or anything like right, that. So so this honestly was very shocking to me. They brought, they, they brought back Joseph Staten. He worked on the original Halos for Bungie before 343 <laughs> took over. So he did a lot of like uh, cinematic directing work, writing, all of that. And mm -hmm. it seems like I almost when I hear that, I'm like, are they bringing him back? Because like the campaign story, the plot, something just wasn't quite right. Like it seems one guy to save Halo, <laughs> right? One man. Hey, you guys, think, man. This was a, you guys think this was like a like a fake it till you make it like type deal? Like, oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Then they show off some like eh piece of you know of it on purpose, so everyone goes ah, put more time into it, like the Sonic movie trailer. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll we'll take some time, cool. And then everyone's like, whoo, we can delay it now, no problem. The, the way I've heard it, and who knows if this is actually what? true, the way the way I've heard it phrased is that the Halo developers were telling Microsoft now since February, we need more time, we need more time, and Microsoft just kept advertising it because they're needing pre-order sales for the Series X. And finally, Microsoft has decided to agree, and now Microsoft is like, all right, we're going to delay it. Like, but That's really uh, weird, though, because Phil Spence, remember Phil Spencer <laughs> said that it was coming right alongside the Xbox Series X. Yeah. Stop. Put uh, someone's faith in Phil Spencer. Phil I, said, I, I, hey, that still could be true. They could very much go, ah, the console's coming out next year. Uh, I mean, they just they they change, so RGT. Yeah. Can we talk about this, the, this blatant slander of Phil Spencer that is going on right now. I'm just confused as to why he said what it. Like so confused for like two months ago, he said, you know, he said That's on video. That long ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was coming out. You know what's funny is we're never going to get Phil Spencer on here now. We we dream yeah, look, of getting I'm Phil Spencer on. I'm trying to salvage what we can do here. I haven't said I need to I'm just confused. What are you confused about? On Things that episode, the video game. Sean will not be on. here. <laughs> Have you ever had your plans change, RGT? You're like, oh, I'm going to make a video on Oh, then something happens. There. Oh, I'm going to make a video on this. It changes no, for you, but you're not it. allowing him the same courtesy? Not months you've been, on that, you've been working on that video for five years, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the more I hear about this game, the less and less hopeful I get for Halo. Dude, anymore. 343. Oh, now they have to deliver. They like, have they to have literally to. make up for previous games they brought they and brought, for what they've already shown they brought uh the one of the producers over from master yeah, chief collection yeah, but they brought him they brought him in in the 11th hour like yeah. like what is going on i like this game oh man this you, is it's, it's hired, gotta be good it's gotta be it has to be they good. basically they hired so. a firefighter when the building was already on <sighs> it's like all right you gotta figure out how the hose works and save us <laughs> nate what do you think about this because mvg was telling us how many times this thing was getting delayed and we weren't paying attention what happened, Nate? A lot happened. And now they're bringing, they're, they moved someone from, from the, the Mass Chief collection over, someone who would be helping to manage and produce and, and get all this stuff out. And they bring back Joseph Staten, who's like, yeah, help them. A lot's happening with this game. <laughs> I mean, it, it, was, it was in development game. hell for a couple of years. Basically, even up to like last summer, it was in development hell. They took on an ambitious project. They thought they were going to deliver. The team was very confident in what they were doing. They've outsourced it to thousands of other people. And they are still just missing the mark of what they're trying to deliver. They put out that demo, had public reception been positive, they would have launched it in a very hot spot. And they would have patched in all the Xbox Series X extras like they kind of said they were going to do. The reception was wildly negative. Everyone said, this game looks like crap. Look at Craig. And Microsoft sat there and said, screw it. Delayed. Good decision. It's what they had to do. Yeah. And now you're hiring this guy. I don't know if he's coming in like, hey, guys, we're going to be in development for another year. Why don't you like take a look at what we made and you know, maybe you can make it a little better. Or if it's really a case of everything we have is shit and we might not even have this game until... You know, 2022. Yeah, let's just say, are we sure this game's coming out in 2021 right now? Because I'm they're like, gonna, they're gonna they're gonna Prime for this, aren't they? Dude, I don't know now. No. They're gonna go. They Oops, we started over. They Another five years. They See you on the Xbox Series they X2 or whatever the <laughs> next series would be. 
Like, because it's... the core gameplay's there. It's just everyone was just upset about the graphics. That was the only thing. Like the gameplay is fine. That's the only. But then why are they? But here, my question then is, if it's just the graphics, right? And it's just like this piece that we saw. Why are they bringing mm-hmm. someone in who would be a writer and work to direct c- c- like cinematics? That's to give people confidence that the game is going to be amazing. But that's my concern. Like, <laughs> so when why? they buy it, they feel really mad. Why are they bringing him in for this? Worry, I've got more damage control, dog. Keep, keep, keep coming. But what That's if? Like, it's just it's just a weird inclusion all of a sudden to bring this in. I'm like, I, I get the person being moved from Master Chief Collection over because like, I, I can't believe Master Chief Collection is actually like really good now with the state that it launched in. Mm-hmm. So obviously he knows what he's doing. He comes over. Okay, we're gonna get this multiplayer launch. That makes sense to me. But like someone come in who would work on like the core of like the story and the presentation and the production. It's like, and it's coming out in like eight months. I'm pretty Nine much months? convinced the only team that can actually make a Halo game is Bungie. Get them, get them back. Because, because back. Three, three, four, three, like aside from just the ones that they've made by themselves, their remakes, the Master Chief collection, all the stuff they've had a part of, they have, they have hurt every single halo game technically they have they have not once come out with a confident this game is completely fine this is what halo is even the ones when they back made them i thought the remakes were pretty bad one and two the uh, one with the, the new graphics they're, and all they're great stuff. now they're great now well they they're great really now but yeah i know what you're but saying like at, when they launched all this stuff it's like it's always hey we have it and then 10 years later it's fine that mm. that's that's not and then now they're like going in and messing with the games even more like with odst and stuff yeah which, whatever but like you know, three four three. I don't really know know what a Halo game is. I, I really don't think they know what a Halo game is. I no, think Bungie does, does, but Bungie's stuck at at making Destiny for nineteen more years. Should ask, ask Phil Spencer. I don't know about <laughs> Phil Spencer. I don't know what he's going to be able to do besides tell me it's coming out. RGT, okay, you said you don't like people buying you stuff. If I made a shirt that said "Ask Phil Spencer" and is your face going like this, <laughs> would you wear it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make that. It's, it's a service-based that. game. I, is what I keep being told Halo was never a service-based game. That's the problem. Stop making it. Why does everything have to be a service-based game? That's the issue. Just For make the money is bro. a game. I know, but just Brain make counts. a game for if you are if if you're gonna make one as a service, if you're gonna make it as a, a living thing, at least when the, the the first one-off package of it comes out, make it fucking good. Just make a solid piece of something before you launch it. Is it that hard nowadays yes. to finish yes. a game before you launch it? Yes. yes. I think I think a lot, I think I think the PC I think with stuff with like uh with like the green light back in the day like with Steam like with releasing stuff in early access I think that's what turned everyone's heads and all these companies were like yo we can sell these games not even done and that's that's the biggest problem and that's what really that's what makes me like, like not a appreciate here I, I like it Jordan no this, it's this, right up my alley keep, this shit keep going this, this shit has ruined gaming for the last decade and it, and it sucks I like it, it sucks. Yeah. I, want, I want a full game. Yes. Like Battlefield 5 was not a complete experience when I played it. No, Sucked. it was not. It was awful. But you know what it was? Battlefield 3 was a complete game. Mm. There was DLC, but the game itself was done. That's pretty cool. I remember that mm-hmm. those times. That's Man, I do, I do sound like a boomer. I need to shut up. <laughs> right. No, you don't. I, I endorse this type of talk. Games need to be finished these days. These games yes, as a service do. stuff is trash. Nobody likes this games as a service. I, what was the new game? Uh... We didn't talk about it. What was the the DC fandom, or was that last week that we talked? That about? was last week. We talked about it because we oh, had the whatever. Uh, we well, the new s- yeah. Suicide Squad is a games of service, and it automatically everyone's like, oh, you know. Mm-hmm. Now we're yeah. more excited for the Batman Arkham or the Batman Gotham Knights game over the Suicide Squad game because we know that's not a games of service game. You know, like I, I'm I'm tired of this game. I mean, we see what's happening game. with the Avengers right now, right? Yeah, oh, like look at oh my god. god, the Avengers looks completely. Like, that is that is Avengers the destiny version it literally is like yeah. here go on this mission hey you want to do it again 17 times to level up like no right. i don't I'm, i don't I'm, i want to i want a goddamn game i'm a goddamn good on this game. games of service right. stuff man i'm good on it